Superman's greatest powers is seeing through walls using X-ray vision. That ability may no longer be limited to comic book heroes. Don Daler is here to show us. Don, good morning. Good morning. Someday soon, you won't need a cape or special glasses to detect someone through walls. It's not science fiction, but a very real and promising technology that's being developed today by researchers at MIT. Step onto the campus at MIT, and you're likely to get a glimpse of the future. There are fast-flying autonomous drones and plenty of robots, including one developed to run and jump like a cheetah, and another with a soft enough grip to handle an egg. Some of the most recent MIT breakthroughs, however, are happening here at the university's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Lab. Think of it like your Wi-Fi router. Eh? Where this simple looking box applies a complex set of algorithms to do something once limited to science fiction. This is a demo that shows the ability of tracking people through walls. Dina Katabi is the professor leading the project, so dubbed see, Emerald, which, as PhD wall, student Chen Yu Shu demonstrates, is. is a wireless technology that captures motion in real time and regardless of obstruction. This red dot is Chen Yu moving. So Chen's not wearing anything special. It's Nothing. just picking up his movement through the wall. Yeah, no cell phone, no pendant, no sensor. It's purely based on wireless signals reflects mm -hmm. off our body and comes back to the device. What was the inception for this? Mm -hmm. So, like, we work on wireless networks. The question was, can you use wireless networks or Wi-Fi for purposes other than communications? Can you sense the environment with it? The low-frequency wireless signals not only detect Chin Yu's position in the room, but his elevation from the floor. Do you want the red dot to fall? Yeah, let's see the red dot fall. Okay. Researchers hope this can better protect seniors at risk of falling, a problem that sends an estimated 2.5 million elderly Americans to hospitals each year at a cost of $34 billion. And when it detects a fall, it sends an SMS message to the caregiver. And that's just scratching the surface of Emerald's capability. With chin seated, Emerald homes in on his vitals. Respiration and heart rate are read without wires. Being able to get the breathing and heart rate in such cluttered environment with people around, that was an aha moment for us. Wow, is it that sensitive? And it's not in any way as, as dangerous as, say, constant exposure to x-rays would be. No, not at all. <laughs> it's not even, I tell people all the time, the technology, while it is uh, the same carrier as Wi-Fi, is actually uh, 10,000 times or more uh, lower power than Wi-Fi. So if you are not worried about Wi-Fi in your home, you shouldn't be worried about this. Are there any privacy concerns to this, that someone could have one of these, maybe a burglar or someone like that, and look and see where you are in the house? Yeah, so uh, basically like any new technology, it comes with a challenge. I think the society as it discovered these new technologies is that there are rules and laws that a person has to abide by. So if you look at that red dot over yeah. there. So After more than three years of development, the MIT team demonstrated their work for the president last summer. What was his reaction to this? <laughs> so I think when he saw the breathing and heart rate, he said, wow. This potentially then is also an application for babies monitors, for example. Yeah, yeah. The goal now is to take Emerald from the lab to people's homes within the next year. So you and your partners have this great invention that has huge promise. Do you stay a professor or do you become a businesswoman? <laughs> uh, is there a reason not to be both? <laughs> is there enough hours in the day to be both? Uh, I have 24 hours a day. I mean, I, I don't even track holidays. I don't know that there is a holiday. I come to the lab and my students say, oh, yeah, it's a holiday today. So I think there are plenty of hours as long as a person is interested in what they are doing and having a great team like what I have here. <laughs> These researchers also point out that first responders could benefit a great deal by knowing exactly where people are in life-threatening situations. Mm -hmm. Another Wi-Fi solution Dr. Katabi is exploring since you guys talked about earlier is a way to charge smartphones without even having to plug them in. We like her. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's, she's a I badass. Like, like her. I like that she kind of told you, yeah. yes, she we can did. do it all. Don do Taylor, both. I can be both a and professor. I just asked the questions. I know. <laughs> and I think it's good that but seeing through the wall, because I was concerned that you could physically see, like if 
if Nora was walking around naked as is her way. No, it's just, you could see that. But true. no, all you see are little dots. It's, yeah. it's reflections of radio waves, basically, yeah. is what it is. Like sonar. Yeah, I like this. Gail I like knows this. that is my way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do with that information what you will. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Don says thank you.